Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. Today I'm going to be running some more T5 Abyss in the Onyx and I hope I will actually survive this time. So we first, first ran one and it went really well. The second time we ran one we died straight away to a steeple wave and I really underestimated the newting power and overestimated our DPS. So that was a bit unfortunate right there. I think it could have had to do with the fact that we used the Kaldari, the Scourge Rage. We could have used Kaldari Navy and that would have probably been a little bit better. Um, also, I, I didn't have any implants, so I, last time I, when I, I ran it and I failed, I didn't have any implants whatsoever. I put in a few missile implants to uh, make our DPS slightly better. I mean, it's not going to be amazing, but it's going to slightly boost our DPS and also applicability as well as range. So that could perhaps be the thing that makes the determines if we survive or not. But I, I don't think it will, but I think it'll definitely help at least. So we're obviously going to be doing the chaotic exotics because the thing is the chaotic exotics have less less kinetic damage and for a stupid reason which i really hate the onyx is such a magnificent looking ship in my opinion has a bonus to only kinetic missiles kinetic lock guys i hate this can you please make the onyx have bonuses to all missiles why does the sacrilege get it why doesn't the onyx i want to have be able to use em missiles that will be really good anyway let's get at it t5 exotic abyss third attempt in the onyx let's go Alright, jumping in, jumping in, jumping in. We're using the Kaldari Navy, but if um Battleships obviously we'd use Scourge Rage. Scourge Rage is obviously what we want to go with. But um I think we're trying uh, the actually yeah we'll do what we do. oh no it's too, too late, but we'll try seeing if we will do a little bit different damage to cruisers. Um okay. Oh I'm not sure it'll be maybe a bit too stressful. Oh it's too late now. I think what we could have done is split the weapons and just like compared them, but it'll be a too, too, little bit too late now. Okay, so what we do is we burn in. Charybdis is, you know, obviously going to wreck us. We've got obfuscators. Let's take out the confusers. Confusers are going to go down. When they're down, we just orbit Charybdis, mitigate damage, and it'll be all right. But we'll have, we're going to be using our Kaldari navies to wreck them. There's actually only one new turn. That's definitely all right. There's no point. Nothing to worry about there. I just hope we survive and don't get, like, wrecked out of the sky. Maybe I'll over here. I'll over here have a few cycles on our, uh, our AB just so we can actually get in range. We can use our web obviously to do a bit more damage. Actually, we'll probably have to overheat our shielding. Actually, look how, look how much, look how much uh, damage we're taking. The thing is, we've got the Deviant Automatic Suppressor here. This is good to reduce damage because it's shooting down a lot of the missiles that are coming from these Ephialtis guys. The Ephialtis have a lot of damage in their shields. Okay. Because the thing is, actually, I don't want to overheat that afterburner because I will think I'll have to overheat my shielding, actually. It doesn't seem like we're speed tanking that good. Okay, how far is Caribs away? Oh, Caribs is so far away. Oh, my God. So annoying. But I think our damage is all right. Our damage is all right, guys. Okay, let's go for all the confusers. There's only two confusers left. The rest are obfuscators. Imagine if all of these were news, guys. Oof, we would be wrecked so hard. I thought that three newtons wouldn't... Oh, that's a lot of damage. Let's just overheat a few cycles. Uh, the, the last time I was like three newts or four newts and I was just like, oh, that's that's easy. That's easy, right? No issue right there. It was definitely an issue. Okay, we're gonna have to overheat slightly, but we'll pull through. Hopefully we'll pull through. Actually, I think we'll pull through. Look, we're boosting quite a bit now. Okay, we're getting closer and closer. The, cl the more time goes on, the easier this is gonna become, guys. The easier this is gonna come on. Okay, and just start shooting. I'm used to pressing F because of how I used to use drone-based ships. I don't have any. This doesn't seem like it's going to work for a, re a reliable fit, at least. We'll definitely have to bling out the modules more because it seems like we're really having issues with DPS as well as the tank. Uh, it's not at all reliable to use. You don't want it. This fit costs 680 mil, so like it's obviously good, but it's not that good that I feel like it would be like comfortable to run. Okay, let's just go a little bit, increase our, increase our like angle a little bit, maybe that'll help a little bit. All right, keep going. Keep going. It's hard, obviously, with the Deviant Automata Suppressor, you know, suppressing our missiles. Seems like we're... Oh, boy, it took a little bit of damage there. Okay, okay. Yeah, it seems like we're getting a little bit more shield our back, our shield back because we could increase the angle. The transversal, obviously, is going to be higher now. Be a bit easier to avoid damage. We also are close, obviously, so that's also going to help. When you're closer, it's e easier to get a higher transversal. Your relative moving is a lot less. Yeah, that's really good. So I guess all we have to do is really just move this 45 or 90 degree angle and just basically tanking all the damage or speed tanking all the damage. That's really good. Good tactic right there. I actually heard someone in the comments actually recommend this. Now that was a, a good choice. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's shoot. 
shoot these guys. Yeah, the shield. Look at the shields. They're going up. We're not even overheating anything. Just, just wrecking these guys. Hmm, we're getting close to Charybdis as well. Let's actually go a little bit. So the thing is the boundary boxes over here, which is really annoying. The thing is, Charybdis will go to the boundary box. The Charybdis likes to kite. Really likes to kite. So they'll always be going to the boundary box. And it's hard to get, like, swoop around in a circle. Because, especially here, we're pinned down with the Deviant Automata Suppressor. We can actually, you know, we can go up like this, up like this. Let's go like this. Because then we'll maybe be able to avoid a bit of the that damage. Uh, like the, the the wall is here. Charybdis is now trying to kite, but it can't kite because of the boundary box. So it's something really annoying with the AI of Charybdis. Just ugh, just really annoying. But it seems like we're gonna pull through, guys. Pull. We're gonna pull through. We're wrecking these guys pretty hard, actually. It was really annoying because we had the obfuscators obviously in the beginning, plus this deviant automatic suppressor. So just our DPS is gonna be absolute trash. And uh, we don't have the best DPS either with the Kaldari Navy ones. So that made it just even worse on top of that. Obviously our application is going to be better, so that's a good thing. And it could, it was probably a lot better that we took the Kaldari Navy. Look how fast they're going down now. Look how fast these guys are dropping like flies now when we've not got this Deviant Auto Smash Suppressor shooting down everything and how we've got no obfuscators or anything. Look at this. He's just getting absolutely annihilated, this guy. Look at this. Look at this guy. Who does he think he is? Just trying to take on the Onyx. Pfft. You getting wrecked, kid. Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> the Onyx does look a slightly bit edgy because you know how it's like that Sonic meme where nothing personal, kid. It's like, you know, red and black. <laughs> I think it's a really cool looking ship. It looks so cool. I love the color scheme. I wish there are more. The, the skin is called Kala Kyoto. It's the corporation. This this logo here, you can see that the little arrow logo. This is the logo of the Kala Kyoto Corporation. It's one of the mega corps for Kaldari. And they have this this skin, this red and black skin. And I think it looks really cool. And it's just so sad how they do not have the skin on all ships. Like, I wish you could buy the skin for all ships. Like, why? I would pay Plex for that. Why do you not do it, CCP? It's just so annoying. It's not even that hard. Like, it's just black and red with, like, a few stripes. It's not nothing complicated. In fact, I've even seen this website called Kaldari Prime Pony Club. And it's kind of like a 3D view of ships where you can view ships. And you can just, like... um. You can just look at them and you can also customize the skin and they've got a thing that you can put all these like custom skins on them so that you can make so that you can do like Kala Kyoto and ships that don't actually have Kala Kyoto skins in game and it looks really good so this, the skins already kind of exist in the game but for some reason we can't buy them for some reason we can't buy them. I don't understand CCP can get so much so much plex or have the so much people use so much plex for the but for some reason they just don't want to I've heard people say that it's also because they have a maximum amount of skins they can use in their New Eden store, and honestly, I think that's just so dumb, so dumb. And what do you mean a maximum amount of skins you can use in the Eden com, the New Eden store? Like, okay, I understand it's a technical issue. Then fix that technical issue. Then redo the store or do something so that you can allow it because you're going to get a lot of sales from that. People will, I at least can say, and I feel like I'm a pretty good at representation of the average person. I, I you will have a lot of skins sold like that. I really, definitely think that they should try to make it so that you can have or they should make it so that you can have all these skins like basic skins you know basic skins really needs to be used so it seems like the site is absolutely no issue we're just chewing through this site time is really bad if we continue it this way we're going to die to time because of how the seven minutes seven times three 21 guys 21 minutes is more than 20 20 minutes is the maximum amount of time we've got so that's very unfortunate. We had so many sleeper cruisers in the beginning. It just took so long to get through them. It should have been less, I thought. Or the this is a bit RNG, you know. Sometimes you can get more, sometimes you can get less. That's also the thing with the abyss, you know. Always this RNG factor. Everything is RNG on top of RNG on top of RNG, and it's kind of cool because you know nothing is exactly the same. But it's uh, annoying when you get unlucky sometimes. But this guy is almost dead. Getting, he's getting wrecked really hard. Gonna start making our way towards the gate actually. Obviously really slow with this afterburn. Horribly slow. Took a bit of armor damage but yeah, it's no issue. I hope we get an easy wave. It would be really nice if we can get an easy wave complete there. Oh, we took a wrecking shot. This is a really th nice thing about the Onyx. Onyx has good resistances so wrecking shots won't do much. We have, we took only like 1.8k damage and actually, because of how the buff is so good on this, probably would have been actually better to go with replace a multi-spectrum with a shield boost amplifier, because shield boost amplifiers do give more tank than the, slightly more tank than the multi-spectrums. And the reason I usually ha like to use dual multi-spectrums in Abyss in general, 
I think is good over just a single one is because you get that buffer in case of wrecking shots but it feels like the innate buffer of the onyx is just so good that maybe it just will be just worth it to just have a shield boost number five actually i think maybe that'll be even better so that's something yeah, maybe i'll consider for next time at least we have to solidify obviously as well just to get a bit of extra boosting as well and the thing that helps a lot with our buff is actually this damage control right here. You could, I could have had like a fourth damage module, but this damage control really will help in terms of the buffer. So I, that's why I put that there. All right, let's keep going, keep going. It would have also been probably nice if we had like a few drones, but probably will be a bit OP. And I feel like that's also the thing with heavy interdiction cruisers. They tend to be have just one type of web weapon. Um, I've not come across. Okay, we've got orange cloud. I want to get out of this ASAP huge orange cloud so oof. let's go to the yeah let's go to the blue cloud we'll do so much damage let's do so much damage okay tangling and then harrowings those guys tangling and then harrowing because the actually no we'll go directly for the vedmax because the vedmax are gonna do a lot of damage and it doesn't really matter we're anyway so slow so it doesn't really matter okay let's keep going let's keep going oh look at that look at that damage right there Good that we've not got any nudes on the grid because if we had nudes, it'll be a big issue. Obviously, use the web as well. Oof, this guy's getting wrecked. Look at this. He's almost dead straight away. Let's go for the other harrowings. You know, when the Vedmax is down, no DPS is on the grid. Like the, all the DPS in the Vedmax, guys. If you want to be safe, to kill the Vedmax. But they can often be deadly evil in the dynamics as well. For example, say you're kiting, you want to take out the anchoring. Also, it's good just in general to take out the anchorings because if something goes bad, you have the ability to maybe burn away if you have an MWD. We have obviously got an afterburner. We're just going to be really slow anyway. So it's really not worth it. Uh, also, there can be a lot of newting diamond vixen by themselves. They're not really much, but they can together be a big threat. Seems like this was hardly any issue. Look at this. No issue with the tank whatsoever. Just chewing through these guys. And you know, when we're going to get to in this blue cloud, these diamond vixen will fall like flies. Like we will just destroy them. Destroy them. Absolutely destroy them. It'll be really nice, especially with the web. It makes them slower and they've got bigger sig radius. That'll be just amazing. It'll be amazing, guys. Almost there as well. You see here? Transitioning from the orange cloud to the blue cloud. You sometimes get these massive orange clouds. They're really annoying. Absolutely. Wait, why am I shooting? I don't want to. I want to shoot the Vedmac, please. Vedmac, please. Not Damavik. You see here? We were actually applying pretty decent to this anchoring Damavik, even without the web. So imagine with the web and with the blue cloud, oh man, we're going to destroy these dynamics so hard. They're not even going to know what to hit them. They'll not, they'll probably think like, oh, you know what guys, we're not going to invade New Eden. we got Ace Face on the case. He's going to destroy us so hard. You know, I would really like to be able to use the Onyx in invasions because it just looks so good. But unfortunately, unfortunately, it's not good enough. It's not got as good tank as the Rattlesnake. Not at all as good tank as the Rattlesnake. DPS is obviously less as well. It's just really not good for invaders. I just wish, wish I could use these Kalakiota ships for more things and to get more PvE activities. The Widow is kind of like a battleship version of the Onyx. Not that they have very completely different, um, completely different functions. This is a Black Ops ship, so absolutely nothing to do with interdicting like a, a Onyx, but it has the same manufacturer, the Kalakiota. You can see here, Kalakiota logo right there. Uh, but these have this has absolutely horrendous DPS really horrendous dps oh did you see that 1k D 1k shot from one sh one volley <laughs> what oh my god two shotting these 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 damavix oh my god that's amazing what the heck i've never seen that that's faster than a than a gear right there oh my god we're annihilating these guys man what is going on this 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 onyx has no chill right here he's angry he's pissed guys he's pissed he's pissed off you know there's thing in english british english if you say pissed it means you're drunk but in american english pissed means angry so in british english you'd actually say pissed off actually you don't say pissed that means you're drunk but the onyx i don't know he maybe is pissed he maybe is pissed off you know he could be maybe both of them because he's maybe a little bit drunk from um, all this crap he's had to go through here in the abyss it is intoxicating his mind from all these weather effects maybe he's under some kind of influence as well don't know okay let's go to the transfer conduit hopefully we'll be able to pull through through the last wave i really hope this will be the case oh it's so far away as well this is really annoying really annoying they're so far away the mw the the, the ab is just so slow guys this the, the ab is so slow oh this is gonna cut a lot of our time off and in fact you know if we go as fast as the first wave where we were seven minutes 
we did guys we did dead to time 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 is an unfortunate thing time is an unfortunate thing but hopefully we'll pull through hopefully we'll get a good a good uh, wave you know the thing is i think it's actually just quite fun to run these sites even though it's like we're on the test server obviously and this is not like even a consistent thing because you know obviously this is not at all consistent not at all safe not at all farming worthy but i think it's just really cool just to fun just to like have a kind of like a challenge oh can it pull through can it not also it kind of gives you insights into what is actually possible in the abyss maybe we'll, if you're being a playing a bit risky you'll maybe discover things that you wouldn't actually discover when you're being when you're playing safe so i think it's still really cool even though it's not like giving me any actual benefit in terms of tranquility it's still really fun i think uh this ship just looks so good I really wish there was just some more fun things i could do with my onyx it was just so so nice uh it's really good exploration platform guys that is at least one thing it's really good really good exploration platform there obviously are ones that are better like the hecate the uh, jackdaw but it still works pretty decently also very good for the five out of tens as well all right third wave time is a big issue guys you know what we're gonna do we're gonna probably have to burn directly towards the gate so that we don't have this issue because actually um it was maybe a bad thing that we went to this blue cloud with the dynamic because they were so far away we wasted a lot of time okay fe out this fe out this oh my god we'll hopefully win guys because we got a blue cloud you know what's gonna that means then blue cloud means that these guys are gonna fall like flies let's go let's go let's go for the confusers because they're making obviously our dps a lot worse due to their application problems let's go hopefully we'll pull through i just worried that we're gonna have tank issues but it shouldn't be an issue shouldn't be an issue i'll take out the cruisers first because the most amount of dps is coming from the cruisers i think so uh that's what my strategy they don't have any entanglers actually so that's good we will not be slowed down at all and we'll be going directly towards the gate uh, soon dps is gonna get hot guys it's gonna start getting hot only five minutes left on the clock have we got deviant automatic suppressor we have but it's really far away you know they say medium range and short range deviant automatic suppressor i've never seen a long range deviant automatic suppressor it'll be interesting if that exists i feel like they really should make battleship size uh so i've heard people say like for example the streamer torvald Aurus. He says it would be probably boring to have uh, uh, battleship abyss sites because of how battleships are really slow. There's not really much you can do, and I kind of agree with that. That there's like they're a lot slower paced gameplay, but at the same time, I really like I like slow paced gameplay. It's good. Like it's a good. Um, we have to overheat now. Oh my god, what the heck? Uh, it, slow paced gameplay. Also, I feel like it's it's good to have like a little bit of like a variation. You got fast paced gameplay with the um, turn up the overheat now one uh, fast placed gameplay with the like, cruisers and then you got a bit of a slower kind of artillery style almost gameplay with uh, the battleships i think that'll be really cool okay this does not look so good Oof. but we'll hopefully pull through because we're in the we're in the blue cloud now they're probably going to do a lot of damage as well to me as well or they'll have better application uh, ability i feel like oh okay we're gonna have to oh, oh no, no 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 what the heck no please we're so close overheat the guns overheat the guns guys oh we're gonna... mm -hmm. please man please oh ooh. stop overheating the booster stop overheating the booster Oof. oh my god so close what the heck oh my god why are they taking so long to die Stop overheating. I think we're gonna burn out our stuff then. We're not being used to that, so it's all right. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Web fire! Oh! We died! Ah, we died! No! Oh man, that was a good run, but the sleeper, man, the sleeper. Why weren't they dying quicker? We had a blue cloud. We had scourge rage. We had a web okay i wasn't webbing all the time but we still were webbing when i could because the you saw that fe after he was like going out of range now and then oh my god what the heck was that so annoying these fe is really annoying me a lot i think actually wait let's just check one thing i think i know why we died also because i feel like fe is maybe do are doing em damage do fe is do em damage because we had a very low em resist guys if or Neuric missile a lot of you can see here like kind of where the dps okay so we've got fe altis lancers here fe altis lancers okay let me just double check here fe altis if they have good em damage okay so we've got fe altis lancer here let's check the damage oh 
Oh, this could be why, guys. This could be why. Look here. He's doing EM damage and thermal damage. If we just quickly go to our fit, like let's, let's just just um go to our Onyx fit, see what we're using. Look here. Ah, uh, okay. So we had a good thermal damage though, but uh, our EM was not good, and I, that could maybe why be why we died. P possibly. I just feel like in general the tank is not good. Like. 80 HP per second is still like not enough for D5. You need more than that. Total total EHP per second is actually like 400 if you account for the resistances. Still not enough for T5 guys. But it's always fun to see what this can pull through. I don't know if I'll be trying the Onyx anymore in the abyss. We'll probably do it just for fun more, just to see if we can do any challenges. Maybe a different fit as well. Actually, yeah, that's probably a good idea. We'll probably do a different fit sometime. But um, seems like the fit, I, at least the original fit I made, does not prove to be that good in the t5 at least against the fe altuses big problems with the fe altuses guy they don't not like us but if you enjoyed this video guys please leave a like and subscribe uh, i hope this was somewhat entertaining at least it was pretty fun for me thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys later